Cause when your hourglass runs out of sand You can't flip it over and start again Take every breath God gives you for what it's worth Megan Meyer was a typical teen living in a Missouri suburb, and like most 13-year-olds, was unaware of the potential danger lurking behind anonymous networking sites like MySpace. She got this email from this boy named Josh Evans. Josh claimed to be a 16-year-old boy, and the two chatted online for several weeks, until one afternoon last fall when Megan returned home from school to find a message from Josh insulting her. Megan gets an email or a message on her MySpace from Josh saying that I don't know if I want to be friends with you any longer because I hear you're not nice to your friends. They were only words, but to a young girl like Megan, they cut deep. I believe that it's no different than somebody handing her a loaded gun. The day after the exchange, her mother discovered Megan in her bedroom closet. She had hanged herself. Weeks later, her parents made another startling discovery. Josh never even existed. The screen name was created by the mother of Megan's former friend who lived just down the street. Yes, I believe they were the ones that uh, took her to the edge of the cliff and uh, gave her the nudge to go over. At least a third of teenagers report experiencing cyberbullying. The parents of 13-year-old Megan Meyer are hoping that by speaking out, they can protect other children from cyber suicide. No charges have been filed against the neighborhood mother or her family, but Megan's parents still hold them responsible for her death. Lindsay Davis, ABC News. Cause when your hourglass runs out of sand, you can't flip it over and start again. Take every breath God gives you for what it's worth.